handwritten note and a seemingly unbreakable bond, but did Christine McVie feel like she came in second to Stevie Nicks' fame? On November 30th, 2022, Fleetwood Mac confirmed the saddening death of their longtime band member, Christine McVie. Moments later, McVie's family released a statement on her official Instagram account, which read in part, "'It is with a heavy heart we are informing you of Christine's death. She passed away peacefully at the hospital this morning." The statement concluded by revealing that the musician was surrounded by her family at the time of her death. And while McVie's official cause of death has yet to be released, the singer previously suggested that she was dealing with health complications that would prevent her from returning to the stage. She opened up about her struggles to Rolling Stone in June 2022, saying, "'I'm in quite bad health. I've got a chronic back problem which debilitates me. I stand up to play the piano, so I don't know if I could actually physically do it. What's that saying? The mind is willing, but the flesh is weak." McVie was unable to reunite with her bandmates in recent years. However, following the singer's death, fellow Fleetwood Mac star Stevie Nicks shared a touching tribute to her friend. She wrote in a letter posted to Twitter, "'A few hours ago, I was told that my best friend in the whole world since the first day of 1975 had passed away. I wanted to be in London, I wanted to get to London, but we were told to wait.'" Nix also shared the lyrics to Haim's Hallelujah, adding that she longed for the chance to sing the song to McVie before her untimely death. Christine McVie was a member of Fleetwood Mac for a few years before Stevie Nicks joined the group in 1974, and the British songstress welcomed the American newcomer with open arms. If the relationship could continue to be as good as it was when we first met, that it would have to be a good band. Nix recalled in a 2013 interview with The Guardian, "...we made a pact, probably in our first rehearsal, that we would never accept being treated as second-class citizens in the music business. That when we walked into a room, we would be so fantastic and so strong and so smart that none of the uber rock star group of men would look through us." By 1984, however, McVie told Rolling Stone she and Nix had drifted apart and were barely speaking to one another. They both left Fleetwood Mac in 1990, though the tempestuous band reunited years later. However, McVie decided to make a permanent exit in 1998, telling The New Yorker she'd become terrified of flying. The group took McVie's words to heart, though they made plans to reunite in 2013. McVie was the sole holdout, and Nix told The Guardian that she begged her bandmate to come back. McVie finally gave in. Speaking to The New Yorker, she described a meaningful bracelet that she received as a gift from Nix. "'Stevie gave me this chain. It's a metaphor, you know? That the chain of the band will never be broken. Not by me, anyways." And it broke, so I had somebody tie it on. It really means the chain is never going to break again. As Fleetwood Mac's only female members, it was impossible for Nix and McVie to avoid comparison. Both women were gifted songwriters with distinctive voices, but each artist brought something different to the table. Among McVie's many contributions to the band are several uplifting songs, Don't Stop is a motivational tune about moving on with a sunnier outlook on life, and You Make Loving Fun captures the pure bliss of a blossoming romance. However, while the latter mentions magic and falling under a spell, it's Nix who was often associated with witchcraft, thanks in part to her more mysterious, mystical lyrics, in songs such as Sisters of the Moon and Rhiannon. Tragically, it's possible that McVie felt that she never got the credit she was due, at least compared to Nix. She laughingly told The Guardian in June 2022, "...not too many women have said, thanks for groundbreaking, to be honest. I'm sure I was appreciated, but it wasn't hero worship or anything like that. Can you tell them to start?" However, she never viewed Nix as a rival, and she will be sorely missed by the legions of her fans who did in fact view her as a groundbreaking hero.